guys, my name is Tim and welcome back to Dynamite Explodes. Today we're playing some more Root Letter. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's not Square Root of Letter. I don't understand the name. I mean, I get the letter part because it's kind of all about the letters, but the root part, I don't, I don't, I don't get. Maybe we'll find out? Maybe we won't. I don't know. But alright, so here's what happened last time. So, me, the main character, we used to have a pen pal named Aya Fumino. And uh, we would write letters back and forth. We wrote about 10 letters to each other. And then she suddenly stopped writing. And um, recently when I was going, this is about 15 years ago. And recently when I was going through cleaning out my apartment, I uh, came upon a box of the letters. So I was bathing in nostalgia when I came across an unread letter. A letter that didn't have a postmark, meaning that it was possibly not even mailed. That's right, it was dropped off in person. But I've never read it. And in it, it said that, that I had killed someone and that she must atone for her sins. Or something like that. I don't know. Go watch the first episode if you want to know so badly. Don't yell at me, you bastards. I don't, I don't know where we're supposed to be going. Oh, we're going to the shopping area. Because it's a new thing on the map. So obviously that's... Uh, I'm at the... I'm at the Kyomisei shopping area. There's a lot of shops, the kind that are popular with women. You know, like lingerie stores. I don't know, men might like the lingerie stores. I think I'll ask some of the people around here if they know where Professor Femino is. With this many people, someone might know where I can find him. Oh, hello, sir. Good evening. How are, how are, how are you doing? Are you, are you, uh... We're gonna ask you about Aya Fumino. Excuse me, do you know a Aya Fumino? Is uh, she competing in the Kahaku Song Festival? I'm pretty sure she isn't. Consider it. I don't know her. Fuck off. Okay, you're a dick. Excuse me, do you know this girl? Uh, no. Is she your girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Showed the photograph of Aya to the people in the shop area, but no one knew her! I start walking to the art museum, and it begins to rain. Nice. He'll be in town in the commercial shopping area and knew the Fuminos. So I'm trying a different approach. Aya seemed like the smart type, so maybe she had a connection with art. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That's why I thought to visit the art museum. The one they had an ad for on the train. <laughs> I <laughs> remember that? You don't, because I cut it out, because it was stupid. Uh, looks like they're all ready for this rain. Not me. I'm just standing out here in the middle of it, talking to myself. Maybe I should head in... No, okay, we're not gonna... A young woman offers an umbrella. Oh, she's cute. Huh? Are you coming to the art museum? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am, young lady. So am I. Want to go together? Uh... Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Are you in town sightseeing? I do look like a tourist, don't I? Forget your lunch, and don't forget your umbrella. What? <laughs> it's just a saying around here, because it rains so much. The locals never leave the house without an umbrella, I take it. Pretty much, and we're just getting a whole body shot of her. Uh, pretty much, my name is uh, Yukari Ishihara. I work at the, she works at the museum. Alright. You're the curator. I can show you around. You're not paying attention to what I'm saying, are No. No, you're just gonna... I'll take you up on that. Meeting someone because of this rain is kind of romantic. Meeting someone because of rain is called Inishizuku. It means something like... Destiny traps. Oh, Ish in in Ishizuku. That's a pretty word. In Ishizuku. It's not a pretty word. <laughs> we look at each other, smiling. Oh, you. You silly, silly person. The art museum faces like Shinji. It's a lot. Faces? Oh, faces like Shinji. <laughs> I thought I said like Shinji. I'm like, who the fuck is Shinji? So, what did you think of the museum? It was, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was cool. Please come again, if you have the time. I wasn't able to ask about Aya. What do I do now? 
I need a moment to organize my thoughts. Maybe you should just go fucking ask her! She's right there! Just go back and say, oh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, miss. I, uh, I forgot to ask you something. Is gonna, can I show her the picture? Alright. Um, think. Use the think command, I'll give you a list of hints. I know! I'll show her a photo of Aya! I fucking just did that, and you're all like, fuck you, dick! <sighs> it was just trying to teach me how to use the hint command. Still, I showed. <sighs> really? Who is that? Do you know this girl in the photograph? I showed the photo of Aya. Hmm? What? She's a pen pal I was uh, corresponding with 15 years ago. <laughs> I'm trying to find her. Oh. Sorry. I don't know her. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Nobody knows her. Kari goes back to work. I know. I'll take this with, with me. He grabs a painting off the wall and he just walks out. <laughs> I take the unknown local museum arts exhibit flyer with me. <laughs> It'd be funnier if he took the, the painting. I'm at the Shimani Prefecture, Matsuo Albia High School. If I ask around here, I might find something out, but how can I find some alumni to talk to? Maybe... Oh, okay. Uh, I ask. Is there anyone there? It doesn't look like it. We'll just go. There are shoe racks lining the wall. I wonder if students leave their love letters with their classmates here. I try to think of a plan. I need to figure something out. Yeah, what's up, man? I turn around to see a female student in a large, tanned, gorilla-like man. Oh Yo! What are you doing here? I was just looking around, checking out the ladies, if you know what I mean. Looking around. More like peeping at the girls. You're coming with me! Well, alright, well, I mean, we can peep together. That's pretty cool. Big gag. No, seriously, I wasn't peeping! I'm, I'm looking for something. I'm looking for a girl, a young girl. She, uh, she goes to high school. Oh. Criminals always deny the truth. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not a criminal then, huh? Huh? Ah, you don't care. The big guy and another teacher questioned me. Apparently the gorilla's name is uh, Masaya Watanabe. And the other teacher's name is Sato. He's not important enough to have a last name. You're still suspicious. Maybe I need to tell him the truth and ask for information. That's a smart thing to do. Look. The reason I'm here is to find information about a graduate of this school. Uh, a, a girl named Aya Fumino. Are you a detective? No, that would make sense in the context of this story. Who knows? I'm busy. So, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. Dick. Or myself out walking everywhere. I think I'll go back to my room for a bit. I'm at the Matsui Inn. I'm back at the Matsui Inn. The exhaustion of the trip suddenly swoops over me, and I feel sleepy. In the darkness, I'm holding a candle as I climb the stairs. Where am I? Hello? As I walk down the hallway, I see the door at the end is open. Is anyone there? I I have a candle. No, I mean, I, 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 I'm not afraid to use it. Why is my body shaking? I can't keep going. In that room, in that room. There's a girl in a uniform at her desk, writing a letter with slow, measured strokes. Are... are... are you Aya Fumino? Oh god, you have no face! The girl slowly turns around to me, her head pivoting like some kind of machinery. Her face is a black void. <laughs> ah! That was fucking creepy! Black void face! It was a nightmare. Wait, when did I when did I fall asleep? As I get up, Tomoko is chuckling. I hazily realize she's here to get the plates from dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was a dream. You were moaning, sir. How, how long how long have you been here? I just got here before and you went ah! Oh, come on! You know, not many people would come all the way to Matsui 
just to look for someone. Yeah, well, I'm an idiot. I heard the bartender at the Nakamura Bar just set up town. There's alumni in Matsuoba's high school. How old is this he? About 30? Then he might know something! Thanks! I'll go check it out! It's a small town, so it was easy to find. It looks like a secret fort for adults. I like forts. Oh! This is nice. Look at nice scenery in the background. A little lake there. Small bar at the counter, a couple tables. Good looking bartender with a well trimmed beard is the only one serving drinks. Middle aged man at the counter, though. Uh, you, can, you can go ahead and sit where you like. Hi, right, take a seat. A uh, bourbon on the rocks. Are you visiting? Yeah, I'm from Tokyo. Shimane is a great place. Nice people. Great food. Yeah, I'm noticing that. I'm sorry to start talking to you, Adam Nome. I'm Nakamura. I uh, own this place. Ah, okay. Well, so far I like it. Nozu, our bartender, was works hard. It's thanks to him. Shoto Nozu. Shoto Nozu. Uh, if you like this place, please, don't be a stranger. Uh, this place isn't too popular yet, but we did get it on a TV spot too long ago. Oh, that's, that's pretty nice. The uh, photo on the wall is from that. Alright, can we check the photo on the wall? I kind of would like to see that. Oh, look at the photo on the wall. There's a one of a female TV announcer staying with Nozu. Is that lady standing with Nozu a celebrity? She's a uh, popular TV announcer with Sun in Cho TV. She went to high school with him, uh, apparently. She's beautiful. Mm, she's stronger than she looks, too. Was she your girlfriend or something? No, no. Just a classmate. I'm more of a man of the shadows. That's a weird and creepy thing to say. How old are you? I'm 32, sir. Oh, hey, that's the same age as me! Hey, I heard you graduated from uh, Matsuyoba High School. Yes, sir, I did. Why do you ask? So he might know I have him, you know. Because the inventory. Excuse me, sir! Was there a Ayafumino at your high school? Oh, what? Uh, this girl right here. Who the hell are you, sir? I came here from Tokyo because I'm looking for her. Knows his attitude completely changes. He's looking me over on guard. It's time to close shop. Go home. What? Why? We're closed! Get out of here! Alright, I guess, uh... I guess he doesn't know anything. It's obvious that it was just closing time, and he needed to close up the bar so he can go home. Well, that didn't work. Why'd he get so angry? I got kicked out. It's like a switch flipped on the bartender when I asked about Aya. He knows something, but... I mean, it is late. I'm just gonna go back to the inn for tonight. Looked all over for information about Aya Fumino. But all I found was more questions. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for more dribble. Like the video, comment down below, and as always, get thrown out of a bar because it's a shit ton of fun. Alright, see you guys next time.